CertainTeed's Energen is a solar roof system that combines photovoltaics with CertainTeed's roofing shingles. We're going to show you just how easy it is to install Energen for a quality job like this one. And remember, you must review the Energen installation guidelines before you begin the job. Just like any roofing and construction procedures, safety is extremely important. Observe all local codes, regulations, and OSHA standards to keep everyone safe on the job. Energen PV laminates and TPO can be slick when wet. Please use caution during installation. And since Energen produces electricity when exposed to a light source, be aware of shock hazards when handling the electric components. Energen must be installed over a solid wood substrate. It's important that the deck is smooth, clean, and free of any sharp projections or depressions. All previous shingle material must be removed. Plywood decks must be at least 3 8 of an inch thick. OSB decks must be at least 7 16 of an inch thick. Tongue and groove planks must be a minimum of 1 inch thick. All wood decks should comply with APA Engineered Wood Association specifications. Use CertainTeed WinterGuard waterproofing underlayment or equivalent waterproof underlayment as recommended. A minimum of number 15 organic felt underlayment meeting ASTM D226 Type 1 should be used to cover the roof deck areas not covered by waterproof underlayment. Recommended fasteners, nails, and screws must penetrate 3 quarters of an inch into solid wood decking or completely through plywood or OSB. Stainless steel wood screws must be used to fasten all frame pieces. Here are a few important points to remember when storing and handling Energen PV laminates. Don't cut, trim, or puncture the laminate. Store laminates upright. Don't crease, bend, or coil them in diameters less than 20 inches. And to make application easier, protect the laminates from exposure to extreme heat, sun, cold, and moisture. Energen should not be installed on roof slopes less than 412. Begin installation by measuring and snapping chalk lines according to the placement of the PV array. Vertical and horizontal chalk lines should also be snapped to ensure that the shingles are installed properly. Now install the first course of shingles. In this case, they're installing two courses so the PV array will be vertically centered. In some parts of the country, snow guards should be installed too. Position the thermoplastic polyolefin, or TPO, horizontally. Start at the lower left installation work area. Align the lower edge with the top of the shingles exposed area. Fasten the TPO using corrosion resistant roofing nails in a staggered pattern with horizontal rows spaced 12 inches to 14 inches. Each row should be approximately 12 inches apart. The TPO should overlap each course by 2 inches. Snap a vertical chalk line 8 inches from the left edge of the TPO. Install a bottom frame piece. Fasten 2 to 3 stainless screws near the middle every 12 inches to hold it in place. The frame pieces should overlap each other by 4 inches. In order to properly bond each frame piece, they'll need to be fastened together with an aluminum peel type blind rivet. The side rail should be installed with the channel facing outward. Shingles will be installed within one-eighth of an inch from the side rail. Shingles should completely cover the inside channel of the side rail. The standing seam tee pieces should be measured and applied 16 inches from each other. 
Start at the center of each piece and work towards the ends so that you can easily bond the frame pieces together. Wipe down the TPO with a mild non-bleach household solution. Then use an isopropyl alcohol to water mix for a final cleaning. Yeah. I'm a scientist, bro. <laughs> now it's time to install the PV laminates. Peel and lay down the PV laminate. One way or the other. So it's important to uh, start off right. The adhesive is very strong, so once it's laid down, it'll be difficult to lift up. <laughs> Use a non-metallic roller for proper adhesion. Install the top wire cover locking tab strip. Line up the screw penetration template to the top side edges of the PV laminate. All screws must be within the fastener zone. Proper strain relief should be installed according to directions. All cables should be coiled and positioned close to the top wire cover locking tab strip so they don't protrude under the top wire cover when it's installed. Once the cables are in place, it's time to install the top wire cover. The outer folded edge should meet the outer edge of the locking tab strip. Push the top flange down so it's flush against the roof deck. Fasten every 12 inches, about 2 to 3 inches from the top edge. Now finish the roof application according to CertainTeed's recommendations. At this point, a qualified electrician is needed to proceed with the rest of this Energen installation. 